you ready? So ready. Okay. Welcome back to Lug Nut TV with Jesse G, a channel for lug nuts all about the brand Lug. That's what it's about, yes. And Nick is here. <laughs> Good one. Do you know which bag we're actually unbagging today? A lug bag. So we've got two compasses here. Which one do you want? Well, I've been in the army, so I'll take the navy. He'll take the navy. Well, we don't know which one is navy. Oh. You want this one? Here, open that one. All right, ready? So these are from QVC. Which one did I get? I think I got black. Yes, I've got black, which means you've got navy. <laughs> First impressions. You know, up until this moment, I felt so lost. Don't make a compass joke. But now, because of my compass, I am found. Wow. There it is. Look at that nice navy color. That's rainbowless navy. You see that? You see how it looks like they put a roundabout? Yes. On the front of this bag? Mm -hmm. Talking about the front pockets first, front to back. Front pocket. So I kind of like how when they were designing this, instead of saying, you know what, let's put some pockets on the front of this bag, they just said, let's put entire bags on the front of this bag. I also like how it's got the quilted you like fabric. That. Yeah. You, you know what? Especially this top pocket. It's quilted to Northern. Same quilting that's on the roundabout, actually. Mm. Let's look. That is a good gusset. So the tram wallet can fit in either of these really nicely. And do you see that there are pockets on the pockets? They put pockets on the pockets. That's a big deal. So there's multiple pockets on pockets, right? Would you say it's a poly pocket? They do appear to be the same size. So my first impression of this bag online was that it seemed a bit rugged, a little more rugged than their other styles. Very rugged indeed. Hmm. I could carry my hatchet in this bag. It's a hatchet bag. So on the side, there is the water bottle holder. What do you think of that? A little secret hydration location. On the back, we have like a snappy, but it has a magnetic assist. I like that. I'm doing it now too. You don't have just, to guide it. No, you just kind of give it a little suggestion and it closes. And it is snapped. You know, that's got a good two or three pounds of resistance right there. It's not going to come open too easily. The bottom of the bag will not be wipeable. It won't have any feet at all. The top handle does not have anti-slip grip. But the Ooh. cell phone pocket in the front. Is it soft line? Also a hidden magnet. Where, where is that? It is hidden. Satisfying. There are two interiors, so we're going to start with the one in front of the top handle. So right away, got the key bungee. Stretchy. Wow. If you're using your compass and you need to hook on a second compass to your compass, you can do that. If you chain enough of them around in a circle, they would be all encompassing. When in doubt, bungee's out. The first thing I think when I see a slim bag like this, especially a north-south style, is how great it would be to hold a book. A large hardcover book would fit in there really nicely. On the front wall, there is a clear view pocket, so whatever you put in there... You're gonna get a clear view of. There is nothing beneath the clear view pocket on the front wall. On the back... We have a stretchy pocket. That is soft line. Soft line stretch <gasps> pocket. That pocket goes all the way to the bottom. It goes all the way down. Good spot for sunglasses. We also have two pin pockets. They do not go all the way to the bottom of the bag. It looks like two to three inches from the bottom of the bag. Yes, you would lose your pens. Those pockets would not be dependable. <sighs> behind that, there is a privacy zip pocket. Moving to the compartment behind the handle now. Now this is very reminiscent of the scoop because that also has a compartment on either side of the handle. Back here, do you know what this one was mostly intended for? Mm, perhaps some sort of tablet? Mm, 
Yes, I believe so. You know what? That feels slightly padded. I want you to feel that. Do you feel a, a little smidge. padding? Yes, just a, a little. A little? Like... I do enjoy that paisley. Do you? I do. It doesn't slouch at all. I don't know, does it have a little, little structure there? Just a bit. So, zip test. Rear pocket. Not too much effort for that one. That's a good zip. Especially since it has corners to go around. Mm -hmm. It corners very well. Test and test. You can finally hold the navy. Okay, we trade it. This in front of your handles, I think would be the superior interior as far as organization goes. This is where you would put the majority of your stuff. And then back here, if you had a tablet, that could be kept in here separately. You're looking for a reason why you might need this bag. Here are a few. If you like the moped, but don't love the flap. If you like the Ranger, but need a spot for your water bottle. Or if you like the roundabout, but would prefer to have another roundabout on top of your roundabout. You ready to try these on? Which one do you want to try on? Navy. Black? No, navy. Okay. You got yours long already? He's jumping ahead. I think it looks good on you. I think, yeah, crossbody is about the only way that I'll wear this. And then maybe like back here. I don't think it's kind of like a messenger bag kind of a deal. I think you look quite good. I think, because I won't see this until after. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and hit the bell icon so you get alerted to new content as it's uploaded. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Here it is with the mm -hmm. Ranger. Which style would you be more likely to reach for if you were going to use this bag as like your day bag? This because of the extra pockets on the front and the water bottle holder.